Welcome back to another Vintage Cube Draft. Uh, I have no idea what we're going to do here. I'm always trying to do something different, but then I end up losing because the cube isn't really great at supporting archetypes that are not your main, like, couple archetypes. Like, if it's not, like, Reanimator or Mono Green Ramp. Like, I don't think this, this cube has a five-color deck, which I put in my cube. Like, I have a lot of five-color theming. But like, you know, Kenrith is still in here and like, Niv I don't know, like Niv Miz is actually fine because it's more reliant on double colors than five colors, but I don't know. I feel like there's a lot of unsupported strategies in this cube. Uh, I have not tried the black red sack deck. One, I don't like black red sack decks. It's just not my play style. Um, and two, I just, I'm not actually sure how well supported it is in this, in this cube. Like this guy seems like a guy for it, but I don't know. I'm not really excited about taking Jadar Ghoul Caller of Nephalia. I'd rather just take Urza here. Um, I mean, if we're taking a blue card, I'm pretty sure it's Force of Negation. Especially when there's no artifacts in this pack. And this pack is kind of a, a role player pack where we got Wandering Emperor, Gorgo's Vengeance, Ashen Rider. I'll just take the Force here. Okay, Sundering Titan and Lotus Petal. Both of those are good with Urza. Um, I don't care about any of the brain cards. Having an, an X-Mana blue spell that draws you cards that isn't instant speed is seems really criminal to me, I'll be honest. I think we just take Sundering Titan here, especially if we're trying to be maybe mono blue and maybe... Metalworking. Metalwork it. Ooh, upheaval. Oh yeah, we're upheavaling. Last I trophied last draft of Black Red Sack. I mean, Mayhem Devil. Let's look and see if we can find the cards. We have Bombardment and Mayhem Devil here. Those guys are both pretty good. Well, they're not good, but they're part of the archetype. Is it worth it? Metal working. <laughs> um, so because we have Urza, I'm actually quite tempted to play Winter Orb. Tap it at the end of their turn, untap everything. Yeah, let's take a Winter Orb. Batter Skull is also an option. Upheaval puts the thing down, flips it, and reverses it. <laughs> uh. Thassa's Oracle, Chain of Vapor. Is this a Thassa's Oracle deck? I don't feel good about it. Is it a chain of vapor deck? No, I don't think we're. I don't think we're playing either of these cards. <sighs> Thassa's Oracle. Interesting. Interesting. I'll take the chain of vapor. Treachery. Oh, metal worker. Dang it. Oh, I really wanted treachery, but we got a metal worker, and I can't pass a metal worker in in this deck. That's that's poops, magoops. What is a chain deck? I don't even know what Chain of Vapor is in here for, to be honest with you. Storm, probably. I guess you can bounce a bunch of your own bunch of your own stuff. 
Uh, calls are complete. Living that, living that work metalworking dream. Yeah, I guess it's just another storm card. Like, I do feel like the one thing the cube needs is probably more storm cards. People are probably having a little too much fun being able to interact. So they just wanted to make sure that there were fewer cards that interact and, and more cards that don't have any interaction whatsoever. Um, this is a big, big nothing burger. I guess Bomat Courier is a creature, an artifact. Sure, it doesn't doesn't do anything uh big donut hole i guess thunder maw kite and then it dries up we didn't see many blue or many artifacts going around so the odds the, i mean the the fact that we're not getting any on the wheel is not surprising this is also another reason why you like playing two colors or three colors because there's a lot more options Dismember is a playable. Fallen Shinobi again. They love giving this guy to me. Mayhem Devil's coming back. Wow, double Elspeth's back to back. All right, I'll take this Elspeth. And I'll take an Oust. And I'll modest late chain laning. And I wish I took the other Elspeth because maybe we're blue white i feel like blue white is one of the most common color combinations for this sort of metal worker shell we're gonna open mox emerald you ready he was close he was close i mean it's got to be mox over grim monolith right Delicious rocks. Give me them rocks. I do like a timeless lotus. That's probably one of the cooler lotuses. I'll take a timeless lotus. And if Brazen Borrower or Narset comes back, I'll be very thrilled. Also, Mox Pearl does kind of support our white pairing if we use that. <laughs> That's true. I can tap it for a blue. You're not wrong. Thran Dynamo is the boy. <sighs> Coalition Relic. Oh, baby, they're just giving it to me. They're just giving me the business. I'm here for the business. All right, the business has stopped. There has been a lull in the business. I guess Duretti. Is Echo of Eons anything we care about here? Maybe if Narset comes back. Hmm. Force of Will. Okay, I'll take a Force of Will. We got to protect our business, man. I don't think we have enough mana rocks to power them out that quickly yet. Hmm. 
by Mana Rocks, we have Coalition Relic, Thran Dynamo, and Timeless Lotus. One, three, one, four, and one, five. And a Mox Pearl. Don't thank forget you. the Mox Pearl. Scofasco, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Happy one year anniversary, my dude. Uh, I'll chart, of course. I love charting, of course. Thanks, I got you this paper thing for our first anniversary. A paper thing? Incredible. Oh, what up, Daniel Talk Ty? Oh yeah, Dan Talk Ty. Dan Talk Ty, real good. Ancestral Vision. All right. These are very good playable blue cards, so I'm okay with that. I would like some more payoffs though. I don't think called I don't think Sundering Titan is it. <sighs> Molly? Molly D? Put him in the pile. Don't trust him. Last paper thing I got for my anniversary was a restraining order. <laughs> Dang, Sammy, I'm really sorry about that. I mean, I told you to stay away from those windows, though. I actually do. I've lived in Thailand for a dozen years, so my uncle always makes that joke for me. The parents every time. <laughs> okay, that's pretty funny. Oh, yeah, Jack Talk Thai. Jack Talk Thai, real good. This guy is an artifact. A two mana artifact. You burned down the whole gazebo. He put so much goddamn lacquer on that thing. <laughs> yeah. I took this Mishra Mirari's Wake because you know what? Some people are going to take it and they're going to play it against us. And I ain't having that. This guy's an artifact too. Oh boy. We have 18 cards and we're going to pack three. Okay. I feel like we're getting somewhere. Hey, there's your guy. Hey, look at that guy. Hey, that's a good one. We're not going to take that one though for the, for once. Um, I'm leaning towards this guy or this guy. This guy is an artifact, but this guy we could probably just cast, you know, it might just be Ulamog, I think. Big Ulamog might wheel, so might Worm Coil, though. I, I think both of these are not super high picks for people. Glenelendra is also a great pick here, too. Time Spiral is interesting. I'm going to take Glenn and I'm going to try to get one of these on the wheel. I think that's my strategy here. Hmm. Twin. Cryptic Command seems good for the mono blue deck. So we'll take a Cryptic Command. Agent of Treachery also pretty good. Azoria Signet. I barely know her. What? Yeah, Azoria Signet's an easy pick here. We do have a lot of ways to splash white right now, but unfortunately, our white cards are oust, double white, double white. So, there was a Tefri in, in one of those packs. I think it's gone now. Hey, you got Kiki Jiki and Pestermite. We're going to take the blue signet. 
I can respect that signet pick. <laughs> That's a solid reference. Uh, that is a good reference. Buddy, I'm proud of you. I'm glad you picked it. I might have had to leave if you didn't. Wow, dude. There's nothing like there's nothing like building these memories together. <laughs> oh. Play me like one of your French Eldrazi's. God, I didn't even see that. That's such an awkward comment. I want to leave now. It was good seeing you guys. Take it easy. Ooh, a coercive portal. And a remand. And a power stone. And a retrofitter foundry. I think we have to take the remand. My brain probably did censor it for me. I feel like that's 100% what happened. It was like, no, no, you don't need this, I assure you. I feel like it's this. I feel like it's remand. And maybe like one of these three comes back. Ugh. Feels Batman. I like a daze. I don't think we're gonna play Memory Jar or Copter. We might play a third Signet. But at this point, I'd rather just have a counter spell. Okay. We got Phantasmal Image. We have Miscalc. I think it's Phantasmal Image. Actually, I need to be Miscalc. Maybe we're just a counter spell deck and also cycles. Yeah, we'll just take the Miscalc. I'm a counter spell deck now. Look at me. I'm the counter spell deck now. I don't. I'm just gonna take Chrome Mox here. I don't even know if I'm gonna play it. I don't love it. Chrome Mox is probably my least favorite Mox. Hmm. This guy's okay. Hey, that guy's all right. All right, I think we're now we're getting close to the uh, Worm Coil Ulamog pack. Now Academy's gone. There's no new packs. I didn't see it, but. How do you like City of Traders? Not, not at all. Um, like I just don't like how prohibitive it is. Like you, you want it early so you get the mana acceleration, but then you can never play a land again without strip mining yourself. So it's kind of weird. I'm not saying it's bad. It's just not my personal play pattern. Yeah, now we got Days, Miscalc, Remand, Force of, Force of Negation, Cryptic Command, Force of Will. I can easily take out Chain of Vapor because you kind of suck. You kind of suck, Chain of Vapor. You suck. Yeah, I can't keep up with any of the, the new cards or their names, unfortunately. Okay, I'll just hate this Splinter Twin because someone shouldn't have it. That's where I'm at right now. None of these cards are exciting to me. I guess I'll take this Nahiri. I don't think we have any other cards coming. So we just have to make do with what we got, you know? Two cuts. <laughs> Kiki and a Pester Mine in the same pack. Hilarious. Hilarious. Uh, Winds of Abandon, sure. Hey, the Orzhov Signet came back? Last, second to last pick, Orzhov Signet. That dude earlier must have lost so much respect. Oblivion Stone last pick. Fascinating. We got neither Worm Coil nor Ulamog back, so that's unfortunate. I 
Cut days. One more cut. Maybe dismember? Which member? Dismember. Ha ha ha. I was like, all right, let's go. How come it's not letting me? We'll play Mox Pearl. 16. Nope. I don't think we play Chrome Mox here. I just don't want to exile anything, you know? Maybe we do. All right, we're going to try it with this stupid Chrome Mox because, you know, if we play Metalwork around turn four and then we draw it on turn five, like, it's fine. It's still two mana. Is that, it's better than a land, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, if you think Lord of the Rings was not commercialized after the, the three movies in the early 2000s, plus the extended editions of those movies, plus the infinite toys that came out of those movies, plus the board games that came out of those movies, plus the promotions at fast food restaurants that came out of those movies, like, I think you're just, um, I think you might just have, like, a rose-colored glasses on in terms of, like, you know, that, that topic. This is a turn three Urza, if we had Urza in hand. I thought this was an Urza. It's, it's not. I have double force, you see. Well, the movies are respectful, but I think, like, Transformers, the movie, was also very respectful. I don't think... Like, what's your definition of respectful, I think? Like, I think that's what it comes down to, like... I don't feel like Transformers the movie disrespected the franchise or anything like that, you know? You missed the opportunity to say an oblivious ring. I don't get it. No, I know. <laughs> I wait, but there is no Oblivion Ring. Oblivion Stone. I'm thinking of the animated movie because that was the one that, like the the cartoon. Those cartoons in the '80s were specifically made uh, to sell toys. This is pretty good. I'm not sure if I should have countered that. I don't know if I should have. That guy's a pain in the ass. Four, five. See, that's interesting. So I could play that, exile a blue card, and then Cauldre, but then I have no mana up for this guy. And I'd rather just keep counter spells up at this point, I guess. See, this is what I'm saying, though. This is what I'm saying. I'll say Carnage. They didn't want to do Carnage? Okay. How many cards do you need? Oh, 
Uh, apparently a lot of cards is the answer. How many cards does this person need? Oh, it's tons and tons of cards. Thran Dynamo. Yeah, whatever. Hey, whatever. I don't even care about that. Sure, that's also... What is going on? <laughs> this is a mirror match, but their deck is weirder. With City of Traders. What? Fair. Fair trade. Fair deal. Get my guy. Hey, it's your guy. Alright, we're just going to attack and keep up Cryptic Command. And Force of Will and Force of Negation and Force of Pact of Negation and Force of Pact of Will and Pact of Negation Will. Who's this? Who's this? You can have it. <laughs> you guys are right and I'm wrong. <laughs> I mean, I don't think it's a matter of right and wrong, right? I just think, I don't think magic over commercializes something. I think the attention and detail Wizards has put into this set is very, very respectful. Sure. I'm just not countering anything. God, they have 18 cards left in their, their library. They've drawn 10 extra cards this game. Oh my God, everything is happening. There's just so many things that are just, that just keep happening. You know what? That's it. This is where I draw the line. What are they looking for? Nothing is good enough. Yep, you got it. Hmm, that's a big boy. That's a big boy. This guy, also big boy. So they're at eight. Wild. This is all very wild to me. Gonna keep homaging, I guess. There ain't no homage high enough to keep me from getting to you, babe. Oh god, here we go. They're storming off. Oh dear, it's all happening. This is Storm Artifact deck. Brain Freeze, targeting me. Okay. I understand. I disagree. This is all very interesting. Everything that's happening here is very interesting. Okay, well, that was something. Oh, I blew my load. Okay, that's the end. <laughs> oh boy, goodness gracious. Is this an oblivious stone? <laughs> 
<laughs> Let's bring in days and uh, assume that they're trying to do us dirty here. Let's take out a walking ballista. Don't you dare try to do me dirty, Bobby. Damn it, Bobby. Oh, what up, Darkest Parker? Well, unfortunately, this is not exactly what I love. I would definitely rather have a job since being laid off in December, but, you know, streaming is here, so it does what it does. But I appreciate you, my dude. Yeah, see, now you're now you're getting it. See, I just don't want to exile the few non-colorless cards for Chrome Mox that I have, you know? See, now they're going to go Coercive Portal again. And we should have just held this. Yep, we should have just held this. Oh, dang it. This guy. What? Do the, do the life, you... This one. Bam. Okay. Do the life. Uh, Carnage. <laughs> I think Carnage is actually better for him right now based on permanence alone, but... Sure. <sighs> Thank goodness this guy's coming down, am I right? Well, that's pretty good. But we want to play Force Negation. Yeah, I think we're just cutting the Chrome Mox. I'd rather have another island here, 100%. That sure is fascinating, isn't it? It's like Dark Steel Relic, but worse. Nice. French fries and a corn dog. Where'd you go? Did you go to the good times? See if they go off here. That's not going off yet. Oof. Well, that's fascinating. I think we're just going face here. I think we can just upheaval safely. Oh my god. Cast this, cast this, and cast this guy too. Okay, we just win the game. <laughs> that seems good. Oh, that's fun. Like with upheaval, you um, you can obviously get a bunch of mana stuff and then play an upheaval and then recover very, very quickly. Whereas like with Geddon, you're not, you're recovering at a normal pace. <laughs> so you kind of have to have a board that survives it. 
they do kind of have similar play patterns though, right? Like you just build around them and then they leave specific permanence uh, on the board. Oh, wait, hold on. We're going to take out the Chrome Mox. And we're just going to add another island. Yeah, that's better. That's better. I think our deck is kind of short on wind conditions, to be honest with you. Like, we just didn't get any of the big fatties. We didn't get, like, Tinker... I'll keep this hand. And we're kind of, like, Cauldre Complete is kind of just a mediocre 5-5 five five with haste. It's like a poor man's... Um... Yes, I agree with that. Get in, to, get in is about locking you, locking in you being ahead. Like, I'm already ahead. You're behind. I'll Armageddon, and I get to keep my, my lead. Um, whereas Upheaval is like, okay, if we're both even... I can bounce everything, replay land, replay some things that made mana because I had excess and then just kind of go to town on you. Like, I think upheaval is a great card when you're ahead, when you're behind, or even when you're at parity. As long as you can float mana when you cast upheaval, I think you're in good shape. Two islands, huh? Signet. It's going to be a signet. And then it's going to force me to choose between putting my remand down. It was an upheaval. Not a signet at all. Boop, boop. Boop. Y'all ever dip your corn dog in barbecue sauce? <laughs> Highly recommend. I dip everything in barbecue sauce. If you know what I mean. This guy. Upheaval is like a signet in that you want to cast a signet after upheaval. I don't think that works the way you think it does God, who's gonna tell him <laughs> is mutual the corn dog oh what a little corn dog Hurry, what's going on? Is everybody still there? Oh, there it is. Okay, you did it. Oh, okay, you got it. This time you got it. Chicken Nuggets is my family. You just remember that. Okay, they're really taking their time here. Oh yeah, Papa wanted to land. I don't know why, but he's gonna get a land. And that's in there. Plays the land. He's got players. Uh, or does he play Glenn first? I think he plays Glenn first. He's getting Glenny with it. No, 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 no. Getting Glenny with it. No, 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 no. What's it gonna be? Sport. It's gonna be champ. Boy, they're really taking their time here. Brainstorm. I accept. 
Just for the record, I would not have countered that. I don't care. Really like he's making me sweat. When we play Rosa, a relic can tap for blue, which is pretty neat. Boy, that is neat. God, what a what a world. What a world we live in, you know? I'm just over here trying to get jiggy with it, you know? Oh, look at that. Is this another, is this a mirror match? Why does everything feel like a mirror match, you know? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. This is an eighth mana. Fine. I guess I just hope you don't play Sundering Titan. Because that would give you exactly eight mana. Three. Hmm. Of the exile? Preordain? Man, you did preordain dirty. Taking their time. What is going on? Golos. Get that Talarian Academy. To the surprise of no one. I'm not sure why they played Chrome Mox here. I guess play around Mana Lake. Sure. We have four minutes more on the clock than they do, and we're only on, like, turn five. That's like a minute a turn. What is this you're doing? Spell Queller? <sighs> Look what you did, you little jerk. This wasn't on the stack yet. Wow, that's really good for us. <laughs> Okie dokie. Uh, that's not, that's not ideal, is it? So what can we do? We have six man. I was hoping to draw land here because you want to keep hitting those land drops. I think it's just, I kind of want to play Urza into Zorius Signet. Or the other way around. 
Because I think that leads us up for some good, some good rampage, you know? And I have one card in hand, which makes me very comfortable. Because this could be a pretty decent... Yeah, it sucks because there's nothing like, there's nothing you can really do after it happens. Like, I can't just pretend like I didn't draw three. Like, if I, I can't actually decline to cast it. Because then once I upheaval, I would get to cast it again. So, like, one, two, three. This is four, this is, this is four colors of mana. Which I think I'm probably not okay with. Like, I just don't want you getting this close to activating Golos. So we have four, five, six, seven, eight mana. We can play Upheaval, Floats two. We can play Land, Coalition Relic, the Signet, or just Metalworker. I have like these three in hand. I mean, they do have Chrome Mox. You're just casting this guy. Well, that's something. Every every match I've lost it always has a solitude in there somewhere, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Okie dokie. That is unfortunate. I F6 and I almost missed my counter, which would have been huge because then I couldn't actually just play Cauldre Complete here. Can I get a land? No more lands? You're never going to give me a land again? <sighs> That's a bum bum in my tum tum. They're out of cards. I think we just slam a Cauldre Complete and cross our fingers. It also makes this guy a 4 4, so. I feel comfortable with these racing odds. And we can also Cryptic Command tap down their team for a turn. Upheaval is still an option, but getting Solitude back is rough. The problem with Upheaval here is that they have a bunch of stuff they can just reuse, like Solitude, Spellcaller, and Golos. Plus turn one, they can go Misha's Workshop into Azorius Signet. And turn two Golos. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right. So we have three counter spells, which feels good. 
I think we're going to tap their team and draw a card. That's more than fine. Cryptic command, doing doing them doing them dirty. Let's bring in days, and we'll cut upheaval. I don't think this is a, a match where we're going to be able to upheaval effectively. Gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Send it on back. That'll do. Um, send Walking Ballista back. Not great early, and this isn't a super powerful matchup for it. Mox. Days. Good day. Do we hold up days? We're always holding up days. Hmm. Mana tithe. Like, man dazing this doesn't do anything. We bounce a land. So we're already behind a mana by dazing that. You know what I mean? And then we lose a daze too. So... Oh boy, you got it. That's a bum. That's a bummer. My plays are much less exciting than yours. Stop this train. I want to get off and go home again. Is your coalition worth your grim monolith? <laughs> ah, ah. Yeah, I've been on a John Mayer kick recently. Okay, you got it. Sure. 
my god, there's so many manas here. How do you have so many mana? It's just unreal. Then we're going to pass. This doesn't do anything now that it doesn't do next turn, and we can keep Force of Negation up. Unfortunately, both of these only counter spells, and I'm afraid they're going to be like, no, Golos. I'm going to be like, oh, no. I mean, I guess realistically, I could just add a second color for that Elspeth, or we don't have anything that really heavily relies on blue other than like the spells themselves. Oh my god. What is this deck? Is this a totally different deck? They have two cards in hand. What's going on? Do they just morph into a different deck? Go, go, Power Rangers. Mm -hmm. Do you ever play any Switch games? Uh, we did not play Luigi's Mansion. We didn't finish Luigi's Mansion. I don't know why Katie... I don't think Katie liked it as much. I thought it was super cute. Um, and I haven't played any of the new Switch games, to be honest. I barely play the PC and PS5 games that I have. Of which there are many. These draws have been amazing. What did I get? Arcane Signet, Days, Force, and Glenelinger Archmage. Those are the four cards I've drawn that aren't lands. And one of them is a Signet. <laughs> so, yeah. You could say things are going pretty well. Who's having a good time? <laughs> Where were you last turn when I had... I think we're just going to concede here. This does not seem like a fun battle that we're going to win. Actually, Dismember seems pretty good now that I've seen your your junk. Show me your junk. Where is this Winter Orb Urza combo that we need? Come on. Give it to me. Do we have any lands? I don't think so. Oh, we got an island. That's pretty good. That clutch sideboard island. Yeah. Okay, we got half the half the combo we were looking for, you know? Halfway there. Oh, gonna tap it with Urza. Tap that land. It's a winter orb. No, I'm getting, I'm getting, getting a little tired, guys. It's not good. 
it doesn't bode well for the rest of these matches. Something good. Remand? Signet. Give me a signet. Papa needs a signet. There's two in the deck. Okay. Yep, that's fine. You can chart a course. Let's pop this guy out so I have a, a view. Oh, good. I didn't hit a land. I guess we're going to try to also chart a course for a land. We got it. Papa hit that land. Let me pitch a lotus here. Coalition Relic. God. Tempted to force of negation this. I just think it's really good. Oof. Beautiful. That might have been a good opportunity to win her orb as well. Well, I don't want to play both this and winter orb because then I don't have any mana, but... I mean, then I just have Thran Dynamo and, like, one land to rely on. I think we're going to try to do it next turn off of this. Maybe. I'm kind of interested in keeping Force up. Fascinating. Okay. See, now I kind of like Orb. And then we get to draw three cards next turn. And we get to keep up Force, force of Will? Sure. Alright, let's see if this uh, does, the, does the deed.
Um, land mox. Then we have this and this and this. Yeah, it probably was. You're right. I wasn't anticipating having to use this. And it looks like I might not need it. Hmm. Four mana, huh? It's all making sense now. But my Thran Dynamo untaps where their Grim Monolith does not. Uh, okay. Give me them cards. Coalition Relic is a good one. Cryptic Command is a good one. <laughs> These are good ones. We just need some threats now. And we got a... Okay, good. I'm glad that wasn't a Cauldre Complete. I was worried we discarded one of our main... Our main win conditions. Come on, let's get a nice Urza. Metal worker. That guy attacks, right? Maybe. Uh, blue. Is there a more efficient way to do this? Well, I'm, now I'm questioning it because of J-Monster. So one, two, and a land... No, we want to keep our blue up this time. All right, we got the 19 turn clock, guys. <laughs> Technically and actually, it actually does have one power. You are correct. He attack, he protect, but mostly he a mech. <laughs> it's all very accurate. Oh, that's not great. Let's not do that. Counter, draw, cast. This guy. One, two, three, blue. That's a sweet, sweet gentleman. That's a land. One, two, uh, three, four. The clock is getting strong. <laughs> also, they have four, five minutes on the clock, and we're at 19. Yeah, we have Urza, but I sure would love to see him, Nicholas. Nicholas Squirts McGirtz.
I'm F6ing for the first time. So they're on a six turn clock. Give me that remand. Is it Signet? All right. I mean, they have four cards in hand, so the, the prohibitive thing for them is literally mana, so. Now if they go land, they can play a four mana spell. Oh, and they did. Now they can play a six mana spell. Oh, dear. Okay. That's cute. That was all you did. Give me something good. God damn it. <laughs> Just give me something, man. This is ridiculous. Oh my god. I'm dying here. I mean, not literally, because, you know, we have the, the creatures in the winter room, but uh, we can hit Calder Complete. I don't think they have anything. All right. We can hit Calder Complete. We have Walking Ballista somewhere in there. We have, do we have Sundering Titan? Oh my god, we have Islands, we have Urza. Uh, green, I guess. Blue, whatever the color is, I don't even care. Almost all my lands are untapped. What is this? Oh, that's cute. Oh, I guess I actually only have to pay two for this, don't I? Well, I'm glad that guy's out of their hand, I guess. Which member? You know which member. Don't even... Don't even pretend... Oh, that's a good one. That's probably going to seal that deal. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So we can do that guy for 8. That feels okay. One, two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven. We'll do it for seven. Yes. Oh, they said good game. Man, Winter Orb is a messed up magic card. Oh, look who it is. Fast related to the party. Hey guys, did I miss anything? Whatever, bro.
Yeah, Force of Negation on this Coalition Relic was pretty clutch. Made the Winter Orb a little, a little bit better. Are you doing something? What are you doing? What are you doing, you little rascal? Oh, I see. Ooh, pew! <laughs> Goodbye, Shark Man. Uh, okay, we just went. Oh, you wouldn't even give me the satisfaction. He's like, no, I'm going to do it. Well, 2 0. We took out the, the Chrome Mox, right? Okay. Fascinating. Snap keep this boy. I'm also gonna restart this after I after they pass the turn. Wow. Look at that guy. Miscalculation. All right, now, do we signet or do we keep up miscalc? I th think we signet. Because then if we get another one, we can throw in dynamo into metal worker and that's, that's exciting. So that's the point where like, even if they kill it, it's, we've still netted a lot of mana. You know, in a perfect world, this goblin guide will give us at least one land. Beautiful. Thanks, friendo. What's the most you've ever lost? What's the most you've ever lost on a coin toss? One basic land was the most. I like that. If this metal worker sticks, like we are in business. I mean, it's also seven mana, so we just slam a cauldron complete next turn. Metal worker didn't die during our turn. That's interesting. Oh boy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen mana. If Metal Worker lives, that's unfortunate. I think it's got to be Calder Complete here, right? But I'm not sure if we race. I'm going to pass. Let's see what happens. I'd rather have a little more control on the board before, like, we go to 10, they go to 15, we go to 6, they go to 10. We go to two, they go to five. Like, we're just not winning that race. But ideally, the red-white deck won't have a ton of answers. Wow, that's pretty good. Aleshnorn. <laughs> Parallax wave. Oh, Jesus. Yep, that's pretty good. Very interesting. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's fascinating, isn't it? And we get a creature out of it. Oh, wow. Four, five, six, seven. We float one. We play our land for the turn. Then we can play Signet. It's not super exciting. I'm wondering if we just... I'm wondering if we just play our land, play Timeless Lotus and Winter Orb. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is what we're going to try here. This guy and orb. So the next turn we have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mana. We can upheaval floating four. Play dynamo into signet. And then we get to untap with a metal worker. Not a metal worker, but like a three, three. So not nothing. Remand. Fascinating. Oh, fuck. Kill the winter orb. Oh, really? That's some shit. Oh, we get it back, though, if we actually... Oh, wait. That's actually not bad. Yes, it is, because we're one mana shy. Never mind. And we're dead on board. Cool. Three, four, five. Yeah, if we just upheavaled here, we can literally get a 3-3, three, three, our Timeless Lotus, we play a land, and then that'd be fine, but... I'm, yeah. No, I know. I'm not saying I get my Metal Worker back. I said I get a 3-3. Three, three. Oh, God, that's frustrating. We don't, we don't have a blocker that we can cast. Like, yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's like not enough mana. Like we don't have any like three, like the only card we have is like Porcelain Legionnaire, but we have to take two to play it. So like there's literally no creatures in the two or three spot. So that's obnoxious. I don't think this hand's good. I do think this hand's good. Okay. Any land here and we get to Urza and then up people looking pretty spicy. That is a land. Don't lean and relic water me, bro. That's fine. With an Urza.
Yeah, Urza's a 1 4. I'll take two. Don't really feel like getting uh, burst lightning out or lightning bolted or. Stum yeah, stomped. Well, we were hoping for a little Lando. Oh, that's that's nice. Wow. We're bouncing this guy even though it can kill our Riftwing because like if that's what you want to do with your turn, that's fine. Because it costs 3 for them. Man, there's a hell of a card. No blocks. <laughs> Okie dokie. Gladly. <laughs> So this costs four, and this guy will cost two. Now upheaval's looking decent, right? Maybe. Maybe we don't need it. Who knows? We know they have a bone crusher in hand. I mean, he does. He can stop Legionnaire, but it's going to cost him three, and that's going to be their turn. And then we get to attack for five when they're at nine. So, I mean, that's fine. I mean, now they could stomp with Lotus for three and then cast Bone Crusher for three. It is mono blue brown, yes. Or they can just play Parallax Wave. Also good. You got it. Land? Glenalindra. Okay. Big Glenny, check it and see. Yeah, if you counter stomp, Bone Crusher no longer is on an adventure. He goes to the graveyard. We have eight mana. Nine. So we can we can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If this costs seven, we'd float two. Play a land for the turn. Float three. Um 
guess just play Coalition Relic at that point. Just hard casting this guy? Sure. Mm. Yep, you got it. Guess I'm going to six. Miscalculation, huh? Not ideal. So six, seven, eight, nine. This costs seven. We get to play land afterwards. And then we get two of our creatures back. This is a little tricky. Uh, if we attack first, we lose the mana from Coalition Relic, and then we can't do anything. Yeah, I mean, it's not, it's, there's a lot going on. Magic's hard. As evidenced by our opponent's, uh, deep in the tank. Boy, they're really, they're really thinking about it. Uh, exile or Thalia, sure. Resolves. Yeah, Signet only now is fine. I mean, we're still going to have two mana and a Signet where they're going to have... Or a, a land and a Signet, and they're going to have just land, so... Plus, we get uh, our guys back here. Plus we could miscalculate next turn. I'm just going to four here. I have Wave, Crusher, Foundry, I believe. Probably a bunch of other lands.
So now we just have to make sure we keep up Miss Calc because we know they have Stomp. No, they actually can't play Stomp this turn because they only have two mana. This is aggressive. Metalworker, that's a gentleman. I don't think that's going to help us here, though. So can I just block here and then kill them on the crackback? I'm pretty sure this is game. Because there's no way they can play two spells, and we have a miscalc. <laughs> Hoisted by their own Thalia. Like, they knew I had this, or they might have forgotten. <sighs> All right. Game three. <laughs> I kind of like like adding the white cards. Elspeth, temporary lockdown wins and oust. Um, take out force of negation. We do have Sundering Titan. Okay, that's good to know. Two more cards. The only problem is it does exile our like signets and things, but like if we can get rid of most of their board, that could be good. Maybe not. It's also double white, so. Um, yeah, I can see just taking out like six of these guys. Sixteen lands and one mox. Yeah, all right. Yeah, the 41 special. All right, well, that's a dude. Okay.
Thalia all the time. Don't manatize me, bro. Oh, you can't, because you have a Thalia, so that's cool. Parallax way. Oh, damn it. <laughs> That's sad. They voted for Urza. I'll vote for Urza too, I guess. Yep, take two. They seem to be very, very low on playables here. Oh, what up, Big Lou? You little shit. Can I just double block here? How bad is that? I guess we'll find out. We found out. Oh, I think we just got him. We didn't get him. Fascinating. They've changed their mind. They've re-changed their mind. Um, sure. But you didn't do anything. Ugh. Hmm. Alright, well next time we can upheaval and we get back Porcelain Legionnaire and we can probably play some stuff. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 12. That seems okay, but I mean, I don't know. Sure. So we take four here, five. Yeah, I've got a nine. Hmm. Fascinating. See, now we're attacking first. They're like, oh no. It's happening. Let's write down what they have. Rabble, Thalia, Leonin, PPP, Mountain, SF. Okay, so five, six. Sure, this seems pretty good. Oh, I'm a carry. Yeah, good games. So, Sacred Foundry gone. Five, six, seven, well, eight mana next turn. It's really close to just Force of Will and Glenelandra. Planes, planes. Calder complete one time. Similar but different. 
So we know they're going to play Thalia or Leonin. So I think we're just keeping Force of Will up because they can't do multiple things. Fascinating. So Leonin and other planes are gone. Let's play this guy with one, two, three, four. Keep up the blue. Glenethy. Charter course would be nice here. Charter Course would be nice. Cauldra Complete would be nice. Sundering Titan would be nice. Walking Ballista would be bananas. I'll take a Cryptic Command at this point. Sure. That guy is fine. Ha! <laughs> that was good. That's kind of what we were looking for, right? I think we might win. I think that might win us the game. I mean, we lose an island, but that's okay. Okay. One, two, eh, I guess an island. Okay, 3-0. Nicely done. Nicely done. That's a That was not a deck I thought we were going to 3-0 with. I feel like it was lacking a lot of pieces, but here we are. Thank you guys for hanging out. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Be sure to check me out on Twitch, on Patreon, wherever you want to support the channel. Well, you're welcome to do that. I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.